Well, if you've ever thought about going on an African safari but decided, well, you just couldn't afford that hefty price tag, you may be in luck now. Camp Cowabunga, a new $4.5 million exhibit, officially opens up at the Topeka Zoo on Friday. And this morning, KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live at the zoo to explain how Camp Cowabunga brings the heart of Africa to the capital city. Brittany, I am standing here with my friend Emma. She is a pettis monkey. She was actually just sleeping up on her perch a little bit ago, but she woke up for our live shot. And she is just one of the amazing things to see here at Camp Cowabunga. Brittany, you and I got the first media preview of Camp Cowabunga yesterday, along with all of the amazing animals. There are interactive exhibits and artifacts collected by the first Topeka Zoo director during his 140 African safaris. It's going to be on permanent display now, right here in Camp Calabunga. And, and he has stuff that you can't take out of Africa today that people that come to this zoo will get to experience. Interactive screens allow visitors to learn about where the animals come from and hear stories from Topekans who went to Africa on safari. This all adds to an immersive experience that zoo officials hope will give people a better sense of the world outside of the capital city. Zoo director Brendo, Brendan Wiley says even more animals will be added as the exhibit goes on because, as he said, this is going to be a permanent exhibit here. And while I love Emma, one of my favorites is the lions. Uh, they are uh, in the dark right now, so we can't see them. But, Brittany, you can testify to this. I was freaking out when we went through here yesterday. I was obsessed with zoo books, zoo, zoo books growing up, and I, uh, they, they are just the best. And I'm sure that a bunch of kids and even some of the adults will have the exact same reaction when they get to see this later this week, live in West Topeka. James Ryan, KSNT News. Well, no doubt about all of that. Thank you, James. I know we had such a great time yesterday getting to tour the Camp Cowabunga area. Uh, and they will have a private showing for their donors tonight. So many donors helped make this project possible. Then there will be an opening ceremony for the public at 9 o'clock on Friday morning.